Hello everyone, Jake and Mo back again for the Morpho channel. Now I talked her into playing Gauntlet with uh. me. She's not a big fan of Gauntlet, but I think this is one of the first games we played together. Unfortunately, yeah. I had a Genesis and uh, I was, oh, I have a Genesis and... Unfortunately, Gauntlet was one of the games, and uh, yeah. All right, so we need to remember these controls. So try I'm gonna get so much height. It was the Gauntlet is a classic. You it is a classic. It's not a classic. It is a classic. Just because it's a classic, it doesn't make it good. That's true. That's true. It, I mean, not all games are for everyone. So the controls on this one: triangle, add health, magic, circle, X fire. Um, then Square doesn't do anything. None of this, this means nothing to me, just play the game. Yeah, this is the start. Uh, I'm gonna do okay, let's see. I'm Hold just gonna on. follow you because this is just, this oh. is... I want, what, oh yeah, so uh, you choose... What are you, what's happening you right now? So when you press start, press start. I think, yeah. Alright, well I'm a... Then, then I'm gonna press start and see where we are. Okay, I'm an elf. It's so one thing I like about Gauntlet is it'll talk to you. Well, that's one thing you like about it. Yeah, What's yeah. What's the second thing? Uh, the second thing <laughs> is it has a lot of levels, I guess. Well, I mean... Doesn't it have like 99 levels or something stupid some, like that? Some large amount, but... Um, do you know okay, I don't need all these tutorials. Do you know what's better than this game? What? Alien Breed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to play Alien Breed sometime. This Alien Breed is hard, though. Alien Breed is badass. Yeah, it's... So, and it reminds me of it because of the top level of the ghosts. So yeah. for uh, many Americans, you, we didn't get the chance to play Alien Breed, w Breed, which was on the Amiga. Basically, it was a twin stick shooter like this. So this is a twin stick shooter, although it's on a D-pad. But Twin stick. Yeah, twin stick. <laughs> twin stick. Uh, it sounds like uh, it was Ahmed, the dead terrorist from Jeff Dunn. Am I stick? Oh, no, it's Pepper Silence. and Stick. I kill you. Yeah, talk about the pepper and steak. But anyways, it was uh, <laughs> it was a shooter like this, but it was a ripoff of the Alien movie. Oh, a tra blatant ripoff. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah, I didn't yeah, get yeah. sued for that. Yeah, it's a good game. Check it out sometime. Treasure, get points. But I mean, I've always enjoyed uh, tw shooters like this. Yeah. And I didn't get a lot of them growing up, but. Um, well, you were lucky then. But the Chaos Engine was another good one. Oh yeah, I played Chaos Engine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't like that either, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was alright though, I didn't mind it, I just... I was never a huge fan of this type of... I, the thing of Gauntlet is... The whole concept of Gauntlet is your life is constantly draining. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm time not, limits suck. I'm not a fan... Yeah, I'm not a fan of games that have time limits. Um, I, I, I... Yeah, I don't like rushing. So. Ooh, do I need more health? Oh, that's magic potion. Which we, one's um, health? Oh, triangle's health. There us British go. like to take our time and drink tea between levels, <laughs> and you know we don't. Is that the only way you guys can tolerate cricket? Yes. Take your time. Yes, take your time. <laughs> it goes on for hours. There's no rush. You know. Yeah, then we came up with the exciting sport of baseball. I've never not. Yeah, I mean, uh, you don't want to see a British person in a rush. It's not pretty. Uh, the Ministry of Silly Walk. <laughs> Bad things happen. Um, yeah, it's I, yeah. I've just never been a, a fan of just rush, 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 rush because I just don't find the franticness of it very enjoyable. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty much. Uh, I'm not much of a person to rush around and do things. Just look at look at who how this game is being played right now. Like you're running around like a like blue a ass fly on shit. And I'm just like following you around Key. like a derpy, derpy, derp, derp. So, you know. Yeah, but for its time, you know. For its time, yeah. I don't remember what year this came out with. Let me see. Oh, 1985. Yeah, so with its time, you know, it was a pretty good game in arcade. 32 years old. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Oh, get away from me, you... Pollock? Is that how you say it? What's a po that's a fish, isn't it? A uh, pollock? A pollock. <laughs> Pillock. Pillock. <laughs> a pollock. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at these British terms Britishisms. Yet. Look, we just make them up as we go along anyway, so... The art of the gab. Gift of the gab. Yeah. Go kiss the Blarney Stone. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm more of a fan of the sci-fi. Oh, die, die. Okay. Oh god! Ah! Let me see. Let me see. Get health. Health. Start. I don't know. Get out of my way, you elfy bastard. Where am I? That's oh, me. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't realize where I was at. Oh, okay. Collect more magic potions. Oh, yeah, I press the magic button. So I've been more of a fan of sci-fi horror. So when the Chaos Engine came out, which was like a like not sci-fi horror whatsoever. No, it was. It was about. <laughs> it was. It was a. Sci well, it was maybe not horror, but it was a sci-fi movie. Oh, thing. okay, yeah. It was definitely sci-fi because it's about this device that caused weird mutations and Let stuff like that. Let me guess. Like it that. was a chaos engine. Yeah, it was a chaos <laughs> engine. Yeah. <laughs> and. So that's when it came when I when I played that I was got really enamored in it because it was kind of like that Cronenberg style where like that body horror where he created like this merger of technology. It, just, it reminded me very much of steampunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. The merger of technology with flesh. Man, this level is crazy. You get out of my way get now, out, you. Just <laughs> <Don't>, <laughs> are we, okay, we're in a British moment here. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, get out. The... And the thing is, like. You don't see a lot of that bo body horror stuff anymore. I mean, no. that's why I like the movie The Thing. You know, because yeah. it had a lot of body horror. The Thing is a classic. But... Yeah, yeah. But at the time, people didn't like it. Like the movie. And because The Thing was this movie came out the same time as E.T. came out. <laughs> but uh, The Thing, instead of being a friendly alien, was this alien that will try to consume your body, then it would... Um... I like how you're explaining to people how what the thing was about. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people don't know what it is. <laughs> I mean, especially a lot of kids these days. Kids these days. Kids these days. Seeing a movie from 82, you know, over over 30 years old. That was for my parents. I think you need to get to the exit. I don't... <laughs> there you go. There you go. See, I told you I suck at this guy. But the thing would... Uh, consume people and then uh, take the form of their body, you know. It's kind of what I do. Yeah, and you don't see a lot of this body horror stuff except in uh, technical brutal death metal, you know, <laughs> mm. and some ep episodes of Rick and Morty, you know. The Morty is God. And um, that's kind of a style that I miss. Mm. Wasn't there, I don't know if there was a movie that came out recently that, that had that kind of stuff. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I know uh, mid-90s they had Event Horizon was that spaceship that got lost in some sort yeah, of dimension. Yeah, no, I mean, like, recently, recently, like, um, I can't remember. I don't know. I've seen so many movies lately. I don't yeah, know. yeah, it's hard to keep track. I turn into a key. Yeah, oh, you died. How do I come back? You need a, um, I think you press start. Welcome, warrior. Welcome, Welcome warrior. warrior. See? It's an immediately quotable game. You already love it. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, and he gets... No, I don't need any food. I got infinite quarters to put in this thing. Great. And this right. is played again on the PlayStation 2 in the Midway Arcade Classics. Shoot, classics. Shoot, shoot. Arcade classics. Everything you ever wanted. <laughs> I mean, you know, we have, yeah. like, Bioshock and everything, but we're playing Gauntlet right now. Yeah, I mean, well, it's partially because I don't have a capture device that records in HD. <laughs> Six yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if this game even has an ending. Oh! Uh, please don't make me do it all of it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't... I mean, so many levels, you know, I haven't gotten through all of it. I don't know what well, let's people not start. did. In, I don't know what people did in the arcade. If, you, if, you actually, if we actually have to do a let's, let's play I mean, completionist gauntlet... We're getting a divorce. Oh, you exited already. Don't you want to shoot some of these wizards? No, I don't. Can we leave? Okay, we'll leave. Use magic to kill death. Kill death. Oh, death, isn't it? So death sucks. It's like this black guy. What? Hang on. <laughs> no, I don't mean that way. <laughs> I mean, it's like this guy in this black robe. Oh, okay. And, I'm glad uh, you rephrased that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he'll pretty much <laughs> just drain all of your energy. Okay, now we've cleared that up. Um... Yeah, they come from these... Yeah, if you shoot these skeleton piles, they'll go away. I mean, I don't... You don't see games like this, that with the, uh, like, infinite spawners that will come out and you have to destroy the spawners. Oh, there's death again. I thought... Sometimes you could shoot them to death, but... 
You shoot death to death. <laughs> yes. Oh, you shot the potion that got rid of him. There's the exit. Run. Death you to death and death and back. Killed by death. Find the hidden potion. See, that's why I like this game, because it's all about death. There are a lot of things that are all about death. We don't have to play them. So, I, it's kind of interesting. It's like, why do I find death so fascinating? I think... <laughs> We just went dark. Yeah, we just went dark. And I think part of it is like the taboo of it. It's like you're kind of reaching the unknown. I think it's the, the whole oh, concept no, of, you know, um, people always find the things that you... It's the taboo that you're not supposed to talk about, people want to talk about, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like the forbidden knowledge, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm a scientist, and so I always... I'm very curious, so if there's something like, oh, so no one knows much about that, you know, then uh, it's something that really intrigues me, like, you don't know what happens uh, after death, I mean, uh, except scientifically of what happens to your body and things like that, you know, and I'm not that much of a believer in the soul. Oh, you died again. Oh. Press start. This, this game is draining my soul. I press there start you. and it, I, I've come back as a thing. What you is that? You come back as a lady. I, I'm Daenerys now. <laughs> Bend the knee. The carries. She's naked. Is she naked? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think you're just wishful thinking. Why would I be wishful thinking about that? You'd be wishful thinking. Who wants to see? Who, who doesn't like seeing uh, a naked lady? Um, me actually. I guess everyone has their preference. If I did, you should be worried. Hey, I mean, uh, kids these days, they have, uh... I don't know what happened. Oh, oh these are teleporters. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait a second, so where, do we, where do we even go in this? No, this oh, game I, is stupid. I don't stupid. want to go in that teleporter anymore. I'm going to go back up here. Shoot these things. But, I mean... Because, like, when you think about death, you're always kind of wondering, where does your mind go, you know? And scientifically, I mean, it seems like it just goes away, you know? But I can understand people wanting more. And it's always that. To me, it doesn't seem... I need to get a key, so maybe I have to go Really? We have to do this again? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I don't know. To me, it just... It seems like a total waste of... Um, you know, you got you got nature and evolution, whatever, making this planet, and it's all an ecosystem, and Follow you know, me in there. everything there is go. working for this big to build a planet. You know, and then um, when you die, nothing happens. It just feels to me like it's like there should be something more. Yeah, like there should be something more. It just feels like a waste of energy. Yeah, you know, yeah. To like, what's the greater good? Like, we all live on this planet, and we're all building towards this thing, and evolving, and to what? You know, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so the thing is, like, um, evolution is not really directed. It's just... Uh, I hate this game, I thought I'd just let you know that. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out. I don't see an art teleporter. Yeah. Yeah, but that just gets us to the same spot. And now we have to solve a puzzle now. Who said this game is good? Oh, well, I want to solve a puzzle... Yeah, because I don't have... Oh, you have a... You have a key. Open that. You have a key this whole time. <laughs> Jerk. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. That's oh, why we oh. couldn't get... Let me see. Oh, oh, I have a... I have death chasing me. Okay, so that... Did that get us anywhere now? No, we just got smacked by some people. I mean, maybe this feels like... This is what, this is what happens when you die. You just become trapped. Yeah. Trapped in your body. Like you're trapped in, a, trapped in, uh, in a, a level, in a level a gauntlet, gauntlet level. forever. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Ah, oh, no, I went the wrong one. Oh, there we go. Why can't I go through there? Not sure. There we go. There we go. Oh, we solved it. It's a miracle. Oh, I died. Uh, uh, let's put it ab. There we go. Start. Uh, yeah, I think we might finally beat this level eventually. Uh. <laughs> oh 
on my resume. Uh, I th you died. It's the best thing that could ever happen so far. I mean, it is a bit of a slog, isn't it? Yep. A bit. Welcome, to get through all these. I mean, that's unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, because they did release the gauntlet for the Dreamcast and a, a couple other systems. Yeah, I played that one. Too. And um, I think it didn't. I think a lot of players these days are not really into this kind of grind through it. I don't want to bump and grind. Why not? I don't see nothing wrong. What the? <laughs> nothing wrong with that, right? Apparently not. A little bump and grind. Okay, oh, key right away, we lucked out. All right, let's get through this wall. So these little, like, red things that shoot things at you, I think they're, they were kind of inspired by what the Eye of the Beholder from uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which also inspired the Caco Demon in Doom. Oh yeah, well that, that. Yeah, it's like this hell tropes, you know. And maybe that's why I like this game, some of these hell tropes, but. So I've always been interested in, like, if we talk about death, you know, like, what is hell, you know, what does hell look like? This is hell. Yeah. What is hell? Baby, don't hurt it's much, me. It's much, it's much, look all these keys you dropped. Well, hell is much less uh, interesting than what pe a lot of people describe it as. There's a lot of death coming behind you. Oh. Uh. Uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. If, you, if you keep on doing that, we'll be demonetized. <laughs> I like, I like we won't make any money off of this anyway. Wait, as long as you have me on the videos, we ain't making anything. <laughs> oh, I think you died again. Look, stop judging me, all right? <laughs> this game's donkey balls. Let me see, do I got magic? No, I don't got magic. Oh, no. Oh no, I don't got keys. Get keys. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go where you were. Oh. Okay, we'll go down this way then. I, I didn't even see where the exit was yet. I don't know. This is... I'm stuck. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, no we, have, no, we can't go this way. We have to go back where you were. Yeah. Oh, if you shoot these balls, balls, we can go okay. through this. Wait. Oh, that's poison. No, we, oh, oh, I'll drink anyway. Drink poison gets through here. <laughs> Look at the slog. This Look is, how I just, yeah. But, I mean, in general, you know, like, just like death, hell's like one of those things, like, it's like venturing into the unknown, you know. I kind of always wondered, like, how Dante's Inferno was, uh, uh, received back in its day. You know, Especially he, when he, uh, cuts him from his mouth to his farting place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, like, when you get those preachers that talk about hellfire and brimstone, it's kind of taboo, you know, like, well, everyone's I mean, going to hell. Well, I mean, one person of hell is completely different from another person's of hell, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, the concept, whoops. Alright. Um, the, uh, like what some people would say would be their worst nightmare is is very different to what other people would yeah. see, you know? Like, if I, if I went to heaven and I had people in white robes, like, playing harps 24-7, I'd be pissed. I'm sorry. Um, not that I would think somebody sticking a red po hot poker up my ass would be much more fun. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not the same for every person. Um, I don't know. What is? Where am I? What? You have to press. He died a long time ago. You <gasps> have to start. Why do you say something? You were talking. I didn't want to rudely interrupt you. Well, you can rudely interrupt me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, for it's hard to come up with a concept of heaven and then describe it with detail, because then people will be like, "That's not my heaven." Yeah. You know, and they're like, if. If they, if there's a family member that's like did bad things, but they were the world to you, you know, it's like yeah. If they're in hell, how could they? How could you have a heaven without them? You know. And uh, the, the concept of them, like people go, oh, you know, when when you die, you get to see all the people that you, you know, 
you knew when you were alive. What if you don't want to yeah, see those people? If, see if they it. if they loved you and they really want to be with you and they want to see you again, but you don't want to see them. Is there like a heaven restraining order? You yeah, can get? I mean, he- I understandably, heaven and hell is philosophically. I yeah, I hard. mean, I don't think it's a. Gr- I, I, I don't know. I know nothing about this stuff, so. It's a philosophically a hard concept to really uh, pin down, and yeah. that's why I think a lot of times we revert to it, saying it's like a state of mind. And I don't like if people believe in heaven and hell, and so I mean, whatever. I it's fine. I don't care. Um. It's if that's what you believe in, if it makes you feel better, if if that's then do it. You know, if it makes your life better, then do it. Yeah, I it's not a, hurting anybody. Do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, and oh, there's death there. Died. Oh, hit the uh, circle button. There you go. He killed him. There we go. Went through another level. Level eleven. Level eleven. <laughs> yeah, it was tongue twisting me. Yeah. I mean, and I think a lot of this comes down to uh, philosophy, where it's. We talk about it's like heaven real or heaven is fake. And if you ca- really get down to it, it's hard to prove if anything's true or. What wrong. difference does it really make? I, li- I never really put much thought into I, it oops. because I just. I don't know. I mean, what. I don't know what kind of difference it really makes. Just. As long as you're not hurting people, but when it comes to you are hurting people in that name, yeah, that's when it becomes a problem. Well, um, I mean, there's it's it's a fuzzy line, yeah. You know, like because uh, you can once you start saying things are right or wrong, even if you have good intentions, yeah, uh, someone's gonna take that and say, hey, we need to get rid of these sinners, you know, yeah. and um, like they say, like, oh, I don't like gay marriage because I think it's wrong you know and you can see that being misconstrued by someone to to, uh, eventually saying like oh we should get we should kill people that if they get get, uh, have gay marriage which is completely wrong thing to say if it's your personal belief keep it as your personal belief I don't know like I mean if I just I don't know it's so it's so very complicated but I just don't think you you should be hurting people, yeah. like emotionally or physically, over something that's your personal belief. Um, I mean, I don't have any answer. I don't know. I don't have any proof that there is God. I don't have any proof there isn't God. That's why I'm kind of agnostic. But I just don't. It's, I mean, people can believe whatever they want. I just don't really. Don't yeah, just, yeah. Just be happy, you know, and. In regards to, like, gay marriage and stuff, and I feel like if you are really that offended by what goes on in someone else's bedroom, then you really have far too much time on your hands. Just, it's just, oh, I don't know. I've been smashing this button this whole time. I can just hold it down and it'll keep on. Yeah, that's, that's strange. Though. Hey, you got all those keys. Could you open that thing there or down there? Oh, don't... Can you get out of the way, maybe? There we go. There we go. Okay, now we can go. Yeah, and, like, me... Uh, I'm a skeptic about things, and but I have a friend who is a minister, and she's like the nicest person I know. So mm-hmm. whenever I get riled up by like ex- religious extremists, you know, and I want to dog on religion, I just think of her, you know. Yeah, like, I mean, because like if I'm dogging on religion, I'm dogging on her too. I mean, it's making her life better. She's a good person. Um, she's there using it to help other people. Um, yeah, and that's that's fine. I think. Yeah. Um, if it uh, helps you cope with life, because life is a bitch. I'm sorry. So if you, if anything you can have that makes you cope with life better, and if it's religion, then all power to you. you yeah. Know? But don't hurt other people over it. So. Just, yeah. A little bit of an aside, but in a lot of ways. This de- death is going to get a little bit on the side if you don't get There you go. Way. There you go. Killed him. A lot of ways, um, science works by utility, because when we're studying nature, and especially like uh, really in depth, you always ha- you always have questions about your research. You can never study something perfectly and get the perfect answer. There's always questions. There's always error. There's always uncertainty. So it's not always about how right something may be, but how useful it is. You know, and 
religion can be useful for a lot of people. It's just unfortunately that religion often works in absolutes. Like right, like this is absolutely right or absolutely wrong. And I think it's and some people take it too seriously instead of using it as like a more of a philosophy of uh, self-help. They use it as like let's they use it as a tool, you know, more of a. Um, they can use it to manipulate people. Yeah. And that's that's not right because if you if you install a power oh, of fear into somebody that they will be in I don't know pain and torture if they don't do this one thing. Oh, I died um, already. Yeah, I don't there know. There we go. Oops. What happened? Do we both? Did we both die? I think we both died. Did we both die? We both died. Oh, uh, can well, we, can we not? We both died, so I think that's the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, someone, the Holy Spirit, whatever, it's over. Yeah, and now we're being shot by eyes of the beholder. That's <laughs> our fate. Okay, um, well, we'll see everyone next time on the Morpher Channel. Goodbye. Goodbye.